Graphing absolute value functions is actually very simple. The key idea right here is you need to use an x value that is going to make this quantity 0. So 1, negative 1. This is where you're starting. This is what's going to give you your vertex, making this 0. So when you start calculating your business, you're just plugging in negative 1 into your equation, and you're going to start doing the calculations. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, just like we expected. Absolute value of 0, 0, times that by negative 2, you're going to get 0, you're going to get this, and there you go. So your coordinate for this, which I'll put in red, is the coordinate negative 1, 3. Now there's an easier way of looking at this. You could take this negative 1, which you knew you had to use to make 0. Since you knew it was going to be 0, all that's left over is 3. So there's actually a visual way where you could see, oh, if I use negative 1 here, I'm going to get 3 as an answer since this crosses out. So that's kind of a, a visual way of doing that, so you don't have to do all these calculations one step at a time. However, the next steps are where you're going to have to do some more calculations. You're going to have to pick some more values to put into your function. Now, since here I am at negative 1, I'm going to pick a number next to that. So I'll use 0, and I'll use negative 2, since those are the two x values next to my vertex. So we'll try 0. You'll start calculating all your business. Basic arithmetic, that's all you're doing. 1 plus 0, 1. Absolute value of 1 is regular 1. Timesing it by negative 2, negative 2. Adding 3, 1 is an answer, 0, 1. All right, so again, we have the coordinate 0, 1, 0, 1 there. There's your coordinate. You have to make another coordinate value. Again, we said we'd use negative 2. So you're plugging all this into the equation. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 plus 1 plus 3. This turns into the absolute value of negative 1 plus 3, which turns into the ab just regular 1, because absolute values turn things positive. This is negative 2 plus 3. This becomes positive 1. Here's your Next coordinate, negative 2, 1. Now you can keep doing this over and over and over again. I've already done these in my head. I know the next points are over here and over here and over here. So I can keep going, I can keep going, I can keep going. Inputs, outputs, plugging numbers in. What you need to understand is that when you connect your dots, you should be getting a V-shaped graph because absolute value functions look like the shapes of Vs, all of them. It's facing down because this value was negative, so if this would have been positive, it would have been facing up, and that's how easy it is to graph this.